Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to get Siri 100% working on your iPod Touch 4G, 3G, or iPhone uh, 4 or 3GS. But the first thing I'd like to say is 100% working does not mean that this is going to work 100% of the time, but means that it will give you responses and stuff because this server it works but you don't always get connected because this is running off of other people's uh, it's running off of other people's 4s keys which uh, I'll show you here in a minute but uh, you're going to go to your internet browser and go to paradox productions.net right here just type that in I'll have a link in the description to go there and this is the Siri proxy we're going to be using and it'll say the three little pigs Siri proxy server that needs to be fed so first off I want to show you guys uh, feed the piggy which would be if you already have a 4s which if you're watching this there's a good chance you don't but if for some reason you do this thing needs to be fed with 4s keys it'd be nice if you just feed the three li the three little pigs follow this guide right here and it'll show you how to uh, feed the thing which basically just lets other people use it so if you don't want to help other people that's fine but if you'd like to contribute to the server somehow that's one way you can do it without actually paying or donating uh, but then this will tell you give you your st server status because this is not I say 100% working, but I actually, it's 100% working, like you'll get the responses and everything, however, it doesn't work all the time, but you do, it does work sometimes, and it's cool when it does work, but when it doesn't work, it's kind of sucky, but I, I think the more available keys they have, the better chance you have of getting connected, but it's cool when it works, so whatever, and it shows the keys down there and their key load, but you have one of two options after I show you this I'm gonna go in and show you a video on how to get it all and set it up on your iPod or you can just follow this guide if you'd rather do that and so there's how to do that but I'm just gonna I'm gonna start my and show you how to do it uh, with an actual video but before I go over to my iPod touch go ahead download this certificate.pem and you should just get it and then email it to yourself and uh, open it on your mail application because your mail application you need to download all your uh, you'll need it the mail on your iPod too so you can send it to you can get on one email on your computer and send it to whatever email you use on your iPod touch or send it to yourself if you have the same email on both which you probably do but or just send it to yourself you'll need that a little bit later and as long as it's uh, attached to the email, you'll be fine. So I'm going to go over to my iPod and start showing you how to get this. Alright, so I'm on my iPod. And for starters, we're going to need to get the actual Siri port, which is called Spire, which if you've been looking for this for a while, I'm sure you've heard about this. I've had it for since it, like the date came out it just doesn't didn't really uh, work ever because I couldn't find a working proxy but th today I found this and it was working for me but then I found another Siri port that I was trying but now I'm going back to this one because the other one I tried didn't work I'm not gonna get into why I switched when this one was already working but you're gonna want to go to Cydia and just search Spire it's in the Big Boss repo, so you should be already have it. Spire. S P I R. Install. And confirm. And hopefully you haven't already done this, but hopefully you don't want to do this on 3G because it's going to take forever to download because you have to uh, download like 100 megabytes worth of data. So. I'll come back when this is done. 
Alright, now that it is done, which takes 5 to 10 minutes, so don't worry. It'll go really fast in the beginning, and then it'll stop it. It should say, uh, downloading files to C-A-C-H-E, catch or something like that. And that takes 5 to 10 minutes, so don't worry about that. It does take a while. And if it did work, it should say reboot device, so uh, click reboot device. It'll reboot your device. I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to let it run right through. And I would also like to tell you guys that if this does work for you, uh, uh, the server, please consider donating to them on the website that we were on earlier. This uh, He made it in his free time. He's paying for it and all. We're just uh, applying the 4S uh, keys. But he's still using making the server and using all that that he's doing. So if this does work for you, please consider that. And also uh, like my videos comment, check out my other videos, and subscribe to me, but this should be coming. Should be coming here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just don't want to edit this. So, i um, got to enter your passcode. Give me a second. Usually it takes a minute. And there's my passcode. Alright, so now that we got that installed, you're going to want to go to your settings. And look for Spire in your all the jailbreak tweaks you have. And you're going to go to proxy host. And I'll put a little annotation right here. Right right here. What the uh, host is. But it's HTTP. S. Colon. Forward slash. Forward slash. Pair. The. Docs. P-A-R-A-D. O-X hyphen productions p r o d u c t i o n s dot net and you don't have to click anything once you have it typed in just settings and you should be set there go ahead close out and now you need to go to your mail application where you emailed uh, your certificate.pem to. So for some reason you haven't done that yet, like I told you to in the beginning, go ahead and do that now. Send it to your mail. And I'm just going to go here. And just click on uh, the thing right here. It should say 1.cr. No, that's not it. My bad. It's the other one. It should say certificate.pem. And you're going to click on that. I had sent another one to me, so that's what that was. So you're going to, it should say certificate.pem. You should be able to click on it. Paradox Productions, not trusted. Install. Uh, then, and just ignore that. Install. This is safe. Should say enter your passcode. And then just click done. Close out of this. And now just go ahead and you should be able to use it now. But like I said before, it may not work. So I'm going to try, see if it works. What can I 
My bad. Hi, Siri. This doesn't work 100% of the time, so it may not work the first time. If you keep trying, wait, leave all this stuff installed. I'm really sorry but about I can't this, take any requests right now. Requests right now. Uh, let me check real quick on the server status. Uh, if I'll try one more time here in a second. It looks like it should be working decent, but it has a lot of connections right now. Uh, I'll try one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'll try it once I the time when I get it working. I'll go ahead and uh, record it and show you guys. But I'll try one more time. Hi Siri. There's something, something wrong. wrong. And I All right, can so right now, I'll be back when I get this working. Like I said, it doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, it does work. I'll show you that later, so you'll see that in a minute. Alright, so I got this to work, or I should say it just started working. It's worked quite a bit. I've been doing some stuff on it. But here we go. I'm going to demonstrate to you that this does work. Hi, Siri. It's a tad bit glitchy. And just so you know, just so you know... If for people that don't haven't seen my videos before, iPod Touch 4G, iPod. I think you can read that. iPod. There's no way this is an iPhone. It's extremely thin. All right. What's the weather like in El Paso, Texas? Everything works with this, but like I've said before, it's kind of buggy and stuff. Just about how often it works. And there's the weather. Where can I hide a body? And now that I have this working, I'll have some. I'll have some. One second. I'll have some uh, the new tweaks that you can get with it, like open application and tweets. Once, uh, especially once this gets more stable, but I'll probably have one here in a couple of days on how to open an application and stuff. But dumps, and it's not even you can talk to it normal. I don't know why it talks weird. I don't know if it'll just pick up the dumps. Yeah. Sorry, Taylor. I can't help you with Twitter. All right, I'll do it again. Where can I hide a body? are you looking for dumps and I'm not by by the mic it picks it up fine just like on the iPhone I don't know where you are but you can help me find out I'm not gonna turn on my location services, services so turn on both location services and Siri uh, set an alarm for 7 o'clock p.m. today Setting the alarm. Setting the alarm. I've set an alarm for 7 p.m. And there it is. I don't really want that, so I'm turning that off. Um, let's see. I'll do one more. Uh, create a note that says, Hi, Siri. And there it is. Do one more. Just one more. Last one. Hot. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't see us on in your address book. All right. Create a note that says, "Please like, comment, and subscribe." Creating your note. Got it. Almost got it right. Please like, comment, and subscribe. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching.